Remember, you are beautiful, you are the best, and you are the most important person. Hi, and welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. The simple, easiest, and straightforward approach to healthy lifestyle is sleep well, have an adequate amount of sleep, wake up fresh and relaxed, exercise regularly, three times a day, 30 minutes every day, drink your tea or coffee, light breakfast, a small lunch, do not forget about grilled is always good, proper supper, multivitamins, three tablets of vitamin D along with calcium, vitamin B12, and a regular multivitamin. This is the easiest, simple, and straightforward approach, as I said. If you work at your fullest capacity, work well, enjoy well, rest well, believe me, you will have slim, young, long, and healthy life. Not only we care about you, but we also care about your future generations. In this program, we will touch base a very important topic of Zika virus that is found in pregnant women. We always say that this program is all about your awareness, is all about prevention, because we believe that awareness and prevention go side by side. Without awareness, you do not know how to prevent it. What is Zika virus and what it does to our pregnant women and how to prevent it? This is the question arises today. Zika virus has been found in a woman, pregnant woman in Kentucky today, and uh, the doctor said that it has pronounced effect, a disastrous effect on an unborn fetus. According to US Centers of Disease Control and the Department of Public Health, the reporters has said that all the women who are pregnant and they are planning to uh, travel to those affected areas with Zika virus needs to be reported and needs to be seen by their doctor before they have plans to travel to those highly affected areas. What Zika virus is and what it does to our pregnant women or what it does to our general population. In pregnant women, uh, it causes a disastrous effect, like the unborn fetus is at risk of microcephaly, which is a condition of a small brain, and at that time, the brain is developing so that there is no much space of brain to develop that leads to a neurological disorders. There is no such vaccine which is available to treat the Zika virus or to treat the disease once it has been diagnosed. So the best is the prevention. The researchers said that we know very little about it and their side effects in general population. But those who are healthy, they do not need to worry about it. It is just a viral symptom. In a week or so, it will subside by itself. Almost 274 persons in the United States have been diagnosed with positive blood test with Zika virus. And most of them have history of travel with these highly prevalent areas, affected areas like Puerto Rico, Mexico, Haiti, and US Long Island. For those pregnant women who must travel, they should schedule an appointment with their primary care physician. At the same time, they are highly recommended to have some preventive measures, like wearing long sleeves, pants, covering their exposed body pads. At the same time, use condoms or a barrier method with if the spouse or a partner has been exposed to a Zika virus or they have the history of recent travels to highly prevalent areas, highly affected areas. DPH strongly recommends and it continues to highly recommend children and pregnant women, those who are planning to visit to highly affected areas where Zika virus is highly uh, prevalent, to take extra precautionary measures before travel. And after, when they come back from those areas, they need, their blood needs to be checked. We are getting a lot of feedback from you, and we are so thankful about it. Recently, we have been asked about many questions regarding health issues during pregnancy. One of the many health-related issues during pregnancy is hypertension. High blood pressure is very dangerous during pregnancy, but what is the definition of high blood pressure and how we diagnose that it is related to pregnancy? If the blood pressure, which is more than 140 by 90, diagnosed 
less than 20 weeks of gestation, it is essential hypertension. It is not the hypertension that is related to pregnancy. If it is diagnosed after 20 weeks of gestation, that is related to pregnancy and we call it gestational hypertension. Or there's another dangerous form which we call preeclampsia. There's a different criteria of diagnosing and there's a different test we do. Once you enrolled yourself with your primary care physician or with any hospital for the maternity care, they would give you a schedule. In cases of high blood pressure, the medical treatment involves intravenous injections of labetrolol, hydrolyzine, or in case of seizures or epileptic fits, the treatment would be IV magnesium sulfate. Viewers, we have been asked about the cardiovascular diseases during pregnancy and um, uh, all we need to tell you about uh, cardiovascular diseases during pregnancy, it's, uh, it is actually a very vast topic uh, which, is, um, uh, which we always emphasize for you to schedule an appointment with your doctor and uh, it's better for you to take an advice from your doctor and stick to that advice during pregnancy. That is the healthiest way for the safety of yourself and for your unborn child. If you have any plan to becoming pregnant and if you have unfortunately any kind of cardiovascular disease like valvular heart disease or any kind of congestive heart failure with left ventricular ejection fraction which is less than 40% or in case of MS, which is mitral stenosis, severe enough, you need to get an advice from your primary care physician first and plan your pregnancy. Another question which has been asked about the deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism during pregnancy. The one thing which is very alarming is pulmonary embolism, which is caused by deep vein thrombosis during pregnancy, is number one cause of mortality maternal mortality in the United States. One of the questions being asked about like why pregnant women has always deep vein thrombosis. There is a high prevalence of deep vein thrombosis in pregnant women. This uh, answer is very simple. Like during pregnancy, most of the procoagulant factors are increasing and most of the anticoagulant factors like protein C and S is decreasing. Light exercises during pregnancy is also uh, advisable by the doctors, like swimming, walking, or whatever you are comfortable with. It's a spring season and we need this spring to be sneeze free. Hay fever by far the most is the most common cause of allergy in the United States. It depends upon the pollen or it depends upon the allergen. So which type of allergen, like birch tree allergen, is very common during spring season? Once any specific food allergy is diagnosed, you should be given a list of choices of foods that must be given to you by your doctor. Have indoor uniform for your child, meaning designate a pair of clothes for your child which he can wear inside home because pollens can stick to your child's clothes while they are playing outdoors. <laughs>